Hi and welcome to Wrong Way and today we are going to compare the Wolf Warrior 11 Plus against... <sighs> See that cloud? It just started raining pretty hard so I can't do a good test of the Dual Trend Thunder today with good results because the weather is completely different now. So for today it will be just the Wolf Warrior 11 Plus and when the movie about the Dualtron is ready, which will be available here, um, you'll be able to compare it. Let me tell you more about it. Broadway. Also, huge thanks to Zvina Miasto for providing me with the Dualtron Thunder and the Wolf Warrior for testing. If you're interested in buying one, there are links below. So listen guys, I wanted to make it as fair and simple as possible. Both of these scooters are pretty much new, have under 200 kilometers on the odometer and they're both in the maximum settings. Just to say it again, everyone keeps asking about it. I'm going to uh, compare acceleration, um, top speed, hill climbing abilities, features, the range. So how I will do it is I will do a lap in Warsaw that is around 30 kilometers. We will we'll also have checkpoints there and at the end of this lap and I'll try to go as fast as reasonably uh, possible, we'll check the battery voltage. Okay guys, so now we are going to perform the hill climb in the first location. This hill is around 25 degrees steep. Rather slippery today. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, everything is set up on max. Uh, let's just do it. Boom. Okay, uh, the wolf can get up the hill. But, you know, there was some stuttering, heard some stuttering. And just to prove to you guys, it is a totally new, totally new um, Wolf Warrior 11 Plus. Settings are at P70, 100% power, energy save mode is disabled, blah, blah, blah. And if we just come back, you can see that 176 kilometers on the clock and 80% battery. All right, let's go to the next.
Okay guys, so now we have arrived at the second spot. We have 64% of battery left, which I think is enough. I don't always want to have 100% battery if I just want to climb a hill. Uh, so I think that's totally reasonable. So again, uh, 28 degrees steep. Uh, all settings are maxed out. Let's see what happens. See how the brakes work, by the way. Ho, 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 ho. This is so steep, dude. Brakes were good. All right. I mean, I can already tell that it won't do it. Like, let's be serious here. Just to prove the point, I'll do it for you guys. Two motor driving, turbo, every parameter is on. Let's do it. Nope. Did you see how far the Tech Life X7 went? Look how much better is it. It is a climbing hills. I'll do it just one more for this, for the sake of you guys and to destroy your opinion on the Wolf Warrior 11 Plus. Let's do it. Nope. Can't do it. Oh, shit. I want to get up. <laughs> Can't get up. See guys, I told you, it's either too heavy or the engines are wound this way just for top speed. <laughs> for top speed, not for hill climbing. At me, I wanna go out, I wanna be free. A bad dog is looking at me, he's looking at me. Bad dog is looking at me, I wanna go out, I wanna be free. A bad dog is looking at me, a bad, 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 bad dog. Now I'm gonna tell you a bit about the features of the Wolf Warrior 11 Plus. This scooter is manufactured by Cabo. It is a pretty new company in comparison to Mini Motors. Um, and it has a lot of features. It has twin front um, LED headlights. I'll just turn them on for you. There are, they are really strong. There are also three modes to these lights. Strong, weaker and blinking very useful it also has a really loud horn comes in very useful in day-to-day -day traffic it has also another two sets of lights here twin charge ports um, a also additional lighting at the bottom here which also turns on these lights and this light does not turn off if you turn off the scooter that's a bit cumbersome um, it has a hydraulic suspension up in the front and it has two of these, oh, maybe you can see it now, two of these shocks in the rear. Maybe I can get a little closer. Yeah, that's how, it's, that's how it looks like.
Um, it has 11 inch uh, tires, the motors are 1200 watts nominal power each and they have a peak power of 5600 watts. The total weight of this beast is around 50 kilograms. It also folds. When it comes to the folding mechanism, it folds with the front wheel, making it very, very long. Uh, it has also hydraulic brakes, 140 millimeter uh, rotors. You can see here, these are uh, zoom brakes, front and rear. It does not have any additional auxiliary port to increase the range. There are also some pipes piping uh, around the, the scooter so you can also mount stuff here like a basket or I don't know a box. Uh, it also has a really nice kickstand, really heavy duty. All in all it has this high contrasting red materials everywhere. It is really comfortable. You can also mount a different steering wheel here. Uh, the height of the handlebars is around 95 I think centimeters. It has the motor, mini motors display eco turbo mode so this limits the speed and single and dual motor driving and really nice buttons for the lights and the horn the cables are also nicely routed the uh, rear light looks like this it also has a brake light as you can see um, it's not really so visible um, the front mud guard is maybe a bit too high too short you can see that from a bit of driving it's already all covered in mud as well as here, here all in mud. But my backpack is pretty good, I mean, except for the bottom. The cost is around uh, 3,000 euro, I suppose, depends on the market. And yeah, so that's the wall for your 11 plus for you. 60 volt, 35 amp hour battery. Uh, we'll see how the range is after super intensive driving. It also has this nice uh, footrest in the rear. I really miss that in the Dualtron Thunder. Okay, so whilst I wanted to accelerate once more, I had around 20%. It died on me and won't turn on. Yeah. I couldn't do anything about it. So, here we have reached us 35 kilometers with very intensive driving. Uh, could be better, could be worse, I don't know. Let's see what the thunder will do. So if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. And let me know what you think about the wolf for you now. Oh, by the way, um, the wolf has a totally flat underbody. And here you can see the heat sinks of the Dolphin Thunder.